The bubblegum industry is set to bring in over $48 billion each year by 2025. The popularity of gum continues to grow as it is used for fighting bad breath, chewed by athletes for increased alertness and cognitive performance, chewed by astronauts to help prevent their ears from popping in the zero gravity conditions of space, and nowadays is also used by artists to create unique and unusual art pieces. While interesting, using chewed gum to create art isn't really our taste. Get it? Our taste? Anyways, so how is gum made? Quality ingredients must first be gathered to create a quality gum. The foundation of any quality chewing gum is an expertly crafted gum base. This gum base gives the gum its unique chewy cohesive texture that allows it to be shaped into sticks, balls, or other forms. The gum base makes up 20 to 40% of a typical stick of chewing gum and is responsible for important characteristics like moisture retention, shelf life, and mouthfeel. Gum base preparation relies on four primary raw ingredients, elastomers, resins, fats, and emulsifiers. The elastomers, including synthetic or natural rubber, provide the stretch and snap back ability when chewing. Resins act to bind the gum together to make sure it doesn't fall apart while chewing. Fats, typically food grade vegetable fats or waxes, help soften the gum base and contribute to optimal texture and chew rate. Finally, key emulsifiers like lecithin help blend the hydrophobic and hydrophilic ingredients together into a cohesive homogeneous mass with evenly distributed components. While the exact ratios and proprietary ingredient blends vary between gum manufacturers, the gum base is carefully designed to achieve desired chew profiles. Softer, less rubbery gum bases lead to a gum that quickly softens as you chew, releasing more flavor early on. Gum bases with more structural integrity resist breaking down as fast, leading to a longer lasting chewing experience. Finding the right balance is an important art in gum base innovation. While the gum base provides the chewy texture, the sweeteners and flavorings are what give gum its tasty appeal. The sweeteners used in gum impart a sweet taste and bulk to the gum, making up 30 to 60% of the gum's ingredients. Common sweeteners include sugar, corn syrup, and artificial sweeteners like aspartame or sucralose. The specific sweeteners impact taste, texture, and whether the gum is labeled as sugar or sugar-free. Complementing the sweetness, the flavorings give each gum its distinctive taste profile. Both natural and artificial flavorings are used, with ingredients like peppermint oil or wintergreen extract conveying refreshing minty taste. Fruit flavors provide tropical taste through distillates from cherry, lemon, orange, or other fruits. And spices like cinnamon or spearmint create warmth or herbal complexity. Find the right balance of sweetness and flavoring is key to an appetizing gum. So whether it's the cool burst of mint or warmth of cinnamon gingerbread, know that your gums taste sensations start with deliberate flavoring design. In addition to the core ingredients of gum-based sweeteners and flavorings, chewing gum often contains additional components to achieve desired attributes around texture, shelf life, and appearance. These supplemental ingredients fine-tune gum formulations for better performance. For example, plasticizers prolong the flexibility of the gum over time to prevent it from hardening during storage, and preservatives allow for extended shelf life of up to a year or more for retaining freshness over many months unopened the list of potential additives bringing incremental enhancements continues on. Antioxidant preservatives block rancidity that degrades gum quality. Buffering agents modify pH levels for better flavor release and prevention of tooth decay. Coloring can denote fruit flavors through hues matching the actual fruit or simply make an eye-catching visual for consumers. While contributing relatively small percentages to overall gum formulas, these functional components make key impact. Creating the ideal chewing gum is more than just combining ingredients, properly kneading and mixing the gum base sweeteners, flavors, and components is critical. First, the gum base sweeteners and other ingredients are added to a warming kettle to help blend the components together. Powerful mixing blades churn the gum mixture to begin evenly distributing the parts throughout. Next is an involved kneading process, applying pressure and working the gum to begin binding the hydrophobic gum polymers with other ingredients. The kneading helps develop long polymer chains that create stretch in the gum. Careful monitoring ensures ideal consistency is reached. Operators assess torque readings on the kneader along with manual texture checks to confirm full incorporation without overworking. Environmental controls maintain the room temperature and humidity to prevent gum from drying out or becoming too hot. 
As kneading progresses, the gum changes from a gritty granular paste to a smooth elastic compound that stretches without breaking. Once the gum is optimally mixed, the compound moves into extrusion, shaping, and optional coating to achieve the final chewing gum forms. Extrusion processes press the gum through die openings to form long strips with precision, thickness, and width. Next, rotary molding machines shape the sheets into desired forms. At this point, some gum receives exterior coatings through processes like spray coating or polish rolling, applying seals and flavor like bursting fruit taste when initially chewed. Coatings also smooth over imperfections for better appearance. Long before chewing gum reaches store shelves, manufacturers implement rigorous quality control measures to verify excellence from mixing through packaging. As the gum is produced, operators frequently test samples from production runs checking parameters like flavor release, texture, moisture levels, and film formation. Any deviations outside strict tolerances triggers corrective action like adjusting process times, ingredient metering, or humidity controls to fix the issue. Gum experts trained in scientifically controlled tasting repeatedly chew samples assessing subjective flavor qualities. That's not your typical everyday job now, is it? The last steps transforming freshly made chewing gum into market-ready products involve packaging and individual wrapping. Packaging contains the gum in multi-piece bundles kept isolated from air and moisture preventing premature hardening. Gum gets automatically wrapped into individual servings as well. Specialized machines envelope a single piece of gum in a heat sealed sleeve or paper band. This keeps the gum protected and hygienic while also allowing easy carrying around in pockets or purses. And that is how gum is made. But wait, trivia question to challenge you before you go. What price was the most expensive piece of gum listed for on eBay? So with $27, so was it $168? Was it $4,989 or $14,000? If you guessed answer D, you were right. A piece of gum was listed for $14,000 because it was chewed by Britney Spears. Buying already chewed gum isn't our taste, but hey, everybody has their thing.